What's up, Virgo? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful Virgos out there are doing well. So, Virgos, this is going to be a weekend read. I shuffle, meditate, and we're going to see what's coming towards you guys this weekend. If anything resonates, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment. So, Virgos, this weekend, you have someone in your energy that is stuck on stupid when it comes to you, okay? So, for some of you, this is someone that you possibly have been trying to, like, energetically let go of, but you feel like this person is holding on tight to you, okay? So, this person that's stuck on flipper when it comes to you is stalking you, okay? This is someone that drives by your house often just to see who they're, okay? So, if this is someone that I feel like you guys are no longer dealing with or maybe you recently broke up with or separated from, but this person... I don't feel like they stopping you like in a dangerous way. You know, they just trying to see what you got going on because they know you ain't dealing with them. So he or she is driving by your house trying to see you over there. This is also someone who has people sending you friend requests. They have people that's watching you on social media. So you could have been getting in the past or you will in the future get some friend requests from some names of people. And you're going to be like, I don't even know this person. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be this person that's got their friends and family and whomever else watching you on social media this is also someone like i said especially if you separated from this person and you know you ain't had sex with them so this one touch this is someone that's touching themselves or pleasuring themselves every time they think about you okay so this is someone that's like having sexual fantasies about you they're thinking about you and and every time they think about you you know a little thing down there getting more so it's getting rock hard okay but this is someone that touched themselves every time they think about you so let's pull a couple more cards here and then we're going to pull from this yin and yang day. Let's see what's going on here. So what messages do you have for my Virgo spirit? What's coming towards them this weekend? Now tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this for my Virgo spirit. Okay. So Virgos, this is someone that was insecure. So this is someone that was not as secure with themselves like you were, okay? So Virgo, you could have been very secure with yourself. You knew who you were. You know what you wanted to do with yourself. You had goals. You had aspirations. You know, you had things that you were trying to accomplish here. But this person here, you know, they did not. They didn't have goals. They didn't have dreams. They didn't have, you know, none of that stuff. They were just living day to day trying to figure this stuff out. But this is someone that regrets, you know, this is someone that possibly was holding back their feelings and emotions from you. And now this person is regretting that they did not tell you how they really felt, okay? So for some of you, this person is stuck on stupid when it comes to you because it's like they're in this regretful energy, okay? They feel like, man, I should have really just opened my heart and told Virgo how much I love them, how much I cared about them, how much I really want to be with them. But I feel like this person, because they were insecure, I feel like they did, they weren't secure or stable enough to like open up and express their emotions. <clears throat> For some of you, this could have been someone that was toxic, okay? This is someone that didn't want to be held accountable for their action. This is someone who do what they do, say what they say, and can't nobody say a doggone thing to them, okay? So this person is someone that'll say some mean, nasty, hateful stuff sometimes, you know, and when you would call them out on it, they looking at you like, well, what's wrong with you? You know, ain't nobody else had a problem with me saying this or doing that. For some of you, this is someone that was codependent, okay? This is someone that depended on alcohol and drugs to get them through. But I feel like they're in this codependent energy now, Virgo, because this is someone that is very insecure, they're regretful right now, and they're also stuck on you. So let's pull some more messages. Let's see what was going on between you and this person. What messages do you have for my Virgos today, Spirit? What messages do you have for my Virgos? Tell me more about the situation. For my Virgos. What messages do you have for my Virgos today, Spirit? Okay. What messages do you have for my Virgos, Spirit? Tell me more about this. Okay, so this person wants to know whatever they did, will you forgive them, Virgo? So if this person hurt your feelings or said some mean or hateful things or whatever they did, this person wants you to forgive them. I want to know, will you forgive them? And they want to know why you don't reply to their texts, okay? So this could have been someone. That's why they got people watching you on social media because they've been sending you messages on social media. They've been sending you text messages, and you ain't replying. They're like, all right, well, I'm just going to find somebody who who going to watch you and see what you going, got going on. So this person could feel like maybe you're dealing with someone else or you're talking to someone else, and that's why you're ignoring them at this time. Okay, let's pull some more messages for my Virgo spirit. 
Okay, and this person wants to know, can they come see you, okay? So this is someone, like I said, I feel like you have not seen in a long time, Virgo. Then we have it here again, codependent. This is someone who suffers from addiction, okay? They excessively drink, do drugs, smoke weed, smoke cigarettes, pop pills, whatever, you know, they like to do. They're doing it excessively. But I feel like I said they're doing this because this person, they're stuck on you. And they're regretting, like, whatever it was that they did to you. We're going to pull up the head off. And see what this person here. Give me one more message, spirit. Can I get one more message from my Virgos today, spirit? Okay, so this person. <laughs> the reason why this person is touching this says every time they think about you, Virgo, because you're the best sex that they done doggone had, okay? And I feel like this is another reason why this person is, is in this regretful energy. They was like, man, I let that get poo poo I let that good dangle line get away from me, okay? I ain't found nobody else. They can put it down like Virgo can. So let's pull some tarot. Let's see what was going on with this person. Tell me more about this person that my Virgos were dealing with spirit. Tell me more about this person that my Virgos were dealing with. Tell me more about this person. All right. So Virgo, this is someone who I feel like has gone through some type of transformation, okay? This is someone that's ended some type of cycle or something is coming to an end. And this person's ready to enter a new phase. And I feel like this person wants to enter a new phase with you because they still on super when it comes to you. So we have the six of swords in reverse. But this new... <laughs> Damn, so this person wants to enter a new phase, but this new phase is going to be interrupted by something, okay? Or this person just has to make some type of decision. Maybe, Virgo, you have to make some type of decision before letting this person go. What messages do you have for my Virgo spirit? Tell me more about this person that they're dealing with. Tell me more about this person. Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So we have the Truth Will Hurt, Okay. So, this person wants to know, will you forgive me? So, whatever truth that this person is going to tell you, for some of you, this truth is going to hurt. And for some of you, this person is not going to apologize. So, if you're waiting on some type of apology from this person, for some of you, you're not going to get it quite yet. Okay? For some of you, this was this King of Wands energy. This is someone that was a player. This is someone that was in and out of your life. But like I said, this is someone that was very passionate. So, you had a very passionate connection with this person. This is someone you could have had a lot of good sex. But that's all this person can offer you, okay? But this person will return, okay? They saying, you know, they, they want to know why you don't apply to their texts or none. So this person's going to return to your life. So let's see what signs you guys could be dealing with here. We have Taurus, Taurus, Libra, and Pisces. 